Hello everyone and welcome to the Collector's Table. My name is Adam and today I'm really excited because we're going to be reviewing the one-third scale Raphael from PCS. Now most of you probably already know by now that PCS has announced that they're coming out with a whole new Turtles line, Raphael being the first of that line. Donatello is scheduled to be released shortly after him. Now I know that they also mentioned that they're going to be coming out with a Shredder, which I'm also really excited about, but one question I want to answer during this review is, is this going to be worth collecting the entire line? Let's go ahead and review Raphael and find out. Taking a look at this base, you have the greenish resin, which is supposed to signify the sewage water. You got the destroyed Mauser that's kind of thrown into the water there, and it's sending ripples through the resin, which looks really good. Here's the manhole cover that looks very solid and heavy to me. At least that's the appearance that it kind of gives off when I look at the, this part of the base. Uh, really cool design work on the top. I like the weathering with the cracks and the divots that are missing out of it, but it looks like a very uh, heavy iron uh, manhole cover. And with the paint applications, it just makes it look uh, a lot more realistic. Big sewage pipe right here. You got the bolts that are kind of holding this together. I really like that. More weathering and cracks that are going through it. And as this spins around, this looks really cool because you got like these iron bars uh, to the kind of the end of this sewage pipe and I really like how open that is. Kind of wish there was uh, sewage kind of overflowing and kind of flowing into the resin right here to make it look like it's kind of like a sewage waterfall but still really like it. Uh, really like the Mauser that you got uh, that's just slain and he's he's kind of stepping over the Mauser. Uh, so that's kind of hanging off to the side. And here's the back of Raphael, uh, his turtle shell. The brown colors that they use for this shell and the shadowing uh, look amazing. Uh, the scarring and the battle damage that's etched into his shell from uh, different fights he's had looks excellent. The pouches that are, he's got these utility pouches that are wrapped around his shell. Uh, so that looks cool too. Stepping back a little bit and looking at the statue as a whole, uh, again, great looking uh, colors throughout the statue. Love the pose. Uh, this pose is a very aggressive looking pose. He's holding his two sides in his hand, uh, his weapon of choice, obviously, because he's Raphael. Like this portrait. This is the regular portrait. This is probably the one I favor a little bit more only because it's got the whited out eyes. And I think they both got the, um, the clinched teeth, but I, I think I like this one a little bit more just because the eyes are whited out, like the scars going across his face. A uh, little bit of a nitpick here, it, it's really a nitpick, is the seam line. I know they try to hide it, they did the best they can. You could still see it a little bit more in person not quite so on video, which is good, but you're probably gonna have it facing forward just like this anyway, so you can't really see the seam line. You kinda gotta stand off to the side and really try to find it, but 
again, awesome pose. Like the aggressiveness of him just kind of leaning forward, ready to fight. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at his exclusive portrait. So here's the other portrait. Now the deluxe portrait, I guess the biggest difference is you have uh, like realistic looking eyes there, a, co a fully covered head um, instead of the regular bandana that kind of covers just his eyes. Um, you still have the clinched teeth. So the teeth don't really change, but the eyes and the covered head change. You know, I thought I wasn't gonna like this portrait, but I, I actually like this one just as probably as much as the other one. So always good to have multiple swap outs, especially when it comes to portraits. Make your statue look a little bit different and kind of uh, display it different whenever you get bored of the same portrait. So great option. So you do get another additional part uh, or additional bonus item that comes with the statue. Uh, if you get the deluxe version, you get this Mauser robot that's supposed to go on the end of Raphael's sigh. Now I put it on there. I just uh, actually, for one, I don't really like the way it looks too much. I like the more clean look. It's nice to have the option though, to put it on there if that's what you like. Um, but the biggest reason I'm not putting it on there is just because I don't want it to sag over time. This, this Mauser robot seems a little bit too heavy to be on the side that's kind of sculpted and a little flimsier on the tip there. Um, not necessarily a bad thing for me because I don't like it on the side anyway, and I'm just nervous about it sagging over time, which it's probably engineered to be fine over time. But I like the fact that you could kind of keep it around the statue as like a proximity piece. So I am happy that I have that bonus item. So I ordered this statue from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, I think they have really good customer service. I, I just like Sideshow. I've been shopping with Sideshow for a long time now, but I did order this through Sideshow. The retail um, price for this particular statue, I think I paid somewhere around $1,200. And then it was like another $107 for taxes. And it was another $115 for shipping. So the shipping part wasn't bad. Taxes, you know, taxes kind of suck. Uh, can't really get around paying for taxes, but um, so you're about $1,400 uh, all in, at least I was from uh, California all the way to my house, which is in Savannah on the East Coast. So $1,400 all in, is it worth it for a piece like this? Absolutely, man. I mean, you're, you're spending about $1,400, $1,500 easily nowadays with the way pricing is and in, in the economy. Um, shipping is really high too. So to pay $100 in shipping, you really can't beat it. Now, as of the time of this video, the deluxe and the regular version, I think is already sold out. Um, I think you're able to get on the wait list though. So if you want to try to grab this piece, I, I definitely would. I mean, I think it's totally worth the money. Am I going to go all in on the turtles line or do I think you guys should? Well, for me personally, well worth going all in on the turtles line. I think it's well worth it. I'm going to get the Donatello in next. Hopefully they're making the shredder and then you got Bebop and Rocksteady hopefully in the works. It'd be cool to uh, also get a Master Splinter. I think he would be awesome in third scale. So yeah, my overall feeling on this statue is it's 100% worth it. Uh, great statue overall. And uh, I think PCS did an amazing job on this statue. So really good job there. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you coming to watch my review on this amazing piece from PCS. Uh, one thing I'll leave with you is are you going to be getting this in your collection? Is this something that you're going to go all in on the Turtles line? I would love to know in the comment section below if you guys are going to be getting these pieces. And if not this line, what line are you collecting right now and what do you have coming in? I always think it's kind of cool to see what collectors uh, have coming into their collection. It's just cool to find out what other people are actually collecting. But until next time, guys, I appreciate you stopping in. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw today, and I'll see you guys on the next one.